Hey, Psalm 32, verse 11. Be glad in the heart and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. So by this, we can see that it's good to be gay, right? Yeah, you know what gay is, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I know what gay is. That means happy. <laughs> Not anymore. All right, well, I want to check this out. See if this uh, coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, see, that ye be is. not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And I. I will, I will say again what I said in 2011. Gay rights are human rights, and human rights are gay rights once and for all. Yahoo! Hillary Clinton. We have the right to be happy. Absolutely. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens uh -oh. from the violence and oppression uh -oh. of a hateful foreign ideology. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So you know, we got a bunch of Trump supporters, Trump worshipers. Uh, so it, it is good to be gay. It's good to be happy. Be glad in the Lord. Rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Now, there's another side to that, and it's not so good. Now, you've seen me beating up on the modern versions, and uh, so I want to take this opportunity to uh, sh show you that modern versions aren't always wrong. Sometimes they all get it right. And so let's take a look at what the modern versions say in Leviticus 18, verse 22. And of course, you know the true, perfect Word of God is the King James Bible. And in the King James Bible, it says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Right? In the Amplified, ye, you shall not lie intimately with a male as one lies with a female. It is repulsive. See, they got it right. In the amp C, you shall not lie with a man as with a woman, it is abomination. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. You are not to sleep with a man as with a woman, it is detestable. You must not have sexual intercourse with a man as you would with a woman, it is detestable practice. Okay, you are not to go to bed with a man as with a woman, it is abomination, it is disgusting. See, I like this one right here. It is disgusting for a man to have gay sex with another gay man. And thou shalt not lie with mankind. There you go. As with womankind, it is abomination. Men must not have sexual relations with another man. That's a terrible sin. So the, isn't this interesting that you've got all these uh, big-time politicians coming out and saying they support hot steamy stinky gay sex and they want to encourage that type type of behavior and yet every bible version speaks against hot stinky steamy gay sex esv you shall not lie with a male as with a woman it is an abomination shall not lie with male as with a woman abomination you must not have sexual i did not have sexual relations with that woman not a single time Oh, wait, that's different. You must not have sexual relations with a man as you would with a woman. That is a hateful sin. Thou shalt not lie with a male as one lies with a woman. Never have sexual relations or sexual intercourse with a man as with a woman. It's disgusting. I like that word, disgusting. No man is to have sexual relations with another man. God hates that. God does hate that. I hate it too. You are not to sleep with a man as with a woman. It's detestable. You must not have 
physical relations with a man as you would a woman. That is a hateful sin. You are not to have sexual relations with a male as you would with a woman. Thou shalt not lie with males as with women. It is abomination. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Okay. And you shall not lie with a male as lying with a woman. Homosexuality is absolutely forbidden. For it is an enormous sin. That's a good one. Don't have sex with a man as one does with a woman. That is abhorrent. You shall not lie with a man as one does with a woman. Is there any confusion? Nah, it's okay. I've heard people actually say there's nothing in the Bible that forbids homosexuality and then if anybody says well this is this is the old law we're not under the law and all this and stuff well boy, <laughs> that, that depends on who you are doesn't it okay uh, let's see let me do this way can't remember nothing so I got to put in keywords do we then make void the law through faith God forbid yeah we established the law. All right. You shall not sleep with a male as one sleeps with a female. It is abomination. You shall you shall not lie with a male as one lies with a female. Abomination. You shall not have sex with a man as you would with a woman. It is abomination. You must not have sexual relations with that woman. Not a single time. It's a hateful sin. Uh, I said that silly. Okay. You must not have sexual relations with a male as one has sexual relations with a woman. It is a detestable act. Do not have sex with a man as you would have sex with a woman. I hate that. Do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detestable. Do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. Don't have this abomination. It is a sinful thing. Do not practice homosexuality. Having sex with another man as with a woman. It is a detestable sin. It is abomination, 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 abomination. Thou shalt not lie with Zachar as with Isha. I'm guessing Zachar is a man. I mean, a name for a man. I'm not sure. But, you know, the Orthodox Jewish Bible. Anything, any Bible with the word Jewish in it, you got to be... Uh, very suspicious of. Okay. You shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is abomination. You shall not lie with a male. You shall not lie with a man. It's abomination. You shall not have sexual relations with a man in the same way that you do with a woman. Just such a thing is detestable. Detestable. Thou shalt not be melded, mingled with a man by lechery of a woman. For it is abomination. This word lechery means uh, like a, like an offensive or uh, sexual desire, if I'm remembering correctly. I, but you know, <laughs> uh, I better not say nothing. For it is abomination. Thou shalt not mix, be mixed together with a man, like in fleshly coupling with a woman. I think we get it. it I think we understand. This kind of goes into a deep explanation. You could have added the word steamy and stinky in there to make your point, but I think we understand. And with a male, thou does not lie as one lieth with a woman. Abomination it is. It's a weird way to speak. All right, so anyway, you see here all these stinky modern versions are in agreement with the King James Bible. That homosexuality is very bad, right? It's good to be gay, but then it depends on how you look at the word gay, right? It's it's not it's not good anymore, right? It doesn't mean happy anymore. So, anyways, that's enough.